Welcome everybody, NFT Parent back here for another video. We've got some cool art on a brand new NFT project today. We've got LimeWire is back in the NFT space this time instead of people getting music. We've got Mutant Apes taking off, we've got Azuki taking off, so make sure you watch today, get some updates on what's going on in this industry in the NFT space. Uh, first off, of course, prayers and thoughts to everybody dealing with this war. This is driving me nuts that this is still going on and people are going through such terrible things, but I pray for everybody in Ukraine that's having to deal with this, so prayers your way. Uh, we're going to jump into a brand new NFT project to start here, and it is called Nukes, and it's on nukesnft.com. I think the art is super cool. I mean, look at this. This looks really cool. Almost looks like a mutant ape with like a without the the face wearing kind of a helmet thing going to war so this is really neat it's got a cool story it says in 2052 post-nuclear war 80 percent of the planet is completely destroyed by nuclear attack that does not sound good only 20 percent of the earth's surface is inhabited by those who are separated as a result of the nuclear attack from families friends and relatives lost in the dark of the dead land this little piece of land where life still dwells is now called the emerald green territory so it's at 10,000 of these on ethereum it's more than just a PFP. It's an author collection packed with some consistent utility. Two concepts of nuclear war nature have been amazingly illustrated by the talented digital artist Primary Nature. Uh, for the very first time in history of the NFT space, the uniqueness of the artwork gave birth to the Nuke story. So definitely get on their website, get on their um, Discord, check it out. Roadmap, we've got 15%. It talks about uh, carbon neutrality. Um, we will plant one tree for each NFT sold or claimed. Um, 30%, they've got Bones token listed on DAX and Uniswap. Our uh, utility token will be listed on Uniswap with pairing of Bones and World. So there's World again. You know, I'm really, really like that. You know, people using that on the NFT worlds and the Minecraft platform. 50%, you've got Poker Tournament series dedicated to holders. Five tourneys with one ETH prize. 80%, new holders will be allowed to claim his own free parcel in one of, the, uh, one of our NFT worlds. So that's really cool. You're going to start seeing that more often, I think. And then 100%, we'll allocate 80 ETH for buying NFT worlds. All of the world rewards from stake renting and player play to earn the nft worlds will be distributed to nukes holders so that is really cool they're going to buy land and then you can get world from that you're seeing a lot more come out and do that and that's great all world rewards from staking renting play to earn and our ecosystem will be generating will be distributed to all holders 80 percent from secondary market open sea will be distributed to genesis holders got the team here it seemed like they're very involved, really kept in touch with me. I like their facts and questions. I love that they're doing this. They have a very good site, so definitely check it out on nukesnft.com. 10,000 total, 5,000 Genesis minted during the official sale event, which I don't know the exact date yet, has not been determined. Then 5,000 mutated nukes. These can be free claim plus gas by all Crazy Skulls holders. You'll receive one nukes NFT for each two OG Crazy Skulls that you're holding, so definitely go check out those Crazy Skulls. Uh, crazy skulls because they look really cool you can get those on open sea mint price pre-sale 0 0.06 public sale 0 0.08 this is why i always say get in discord check out everything of course none of this is ever financial advice entertainment purposes only but if it's something you're interested in always get on the discord because pre-sale is usually always cheaper than public and then if you're already on the list you know you get it you don't have to fight gas will be cheaper so that's the best way to do it you can get up to two if you're on the white list um 2500 people are allowed in the white list and uh, you may mint up to four nukes per wallet if you're in the public sale. So you can always get some more in public if you didn't get as many as you wanted on the white list. But as you can see, look at the art on these. These are really cool. Cool story. Great team, which means a lot. And the art is awesome. So definitely check these out. Read the white paper. Uh, check out the Discord. And definitely look at these. All right, I'm older probably than most of you, but I remember LimeWire from downloading music when it was just CDs. There was not that much digital music and stuff going on. When this one, the first, you know, iPads came or uh, iPods came out and everything, and it was LimeWire. They're coming back. Looks like they're using the same symbol and everything, but it says it's it's headed for a comeback. According to CNET, the former peer-to-peer -peer file serving uh, file serving. Uh, service will launch sharing service will relaunch as an nft marketplace with a focus on music art and other entertainment which is cool because they were in music in the first place the company announced the revival earlier this week 
uh, less than a year after Australian brothers Paul and Julian purchased the intellectual property rights to LimeWire. It's a very iconic name as they talk about. It launched uh, in May of, 20, of 2000, offering users the ability to share, search, and download free music videos and other online files. It shut down in 2010 after the UIC District Court uh, ruled against the company in copyright infringement. So they had gotten copyright problems and had to sh shut down. But now it says they're going to come back as NFT Marketplace. It says they're going to do such things as limited editions, pre-release music, exclusive live versions, backstage content. The marketplace will list prices in U.S. dollars instead of crypto. So that's interesting in the space to see that. will allow users to purchase tokens with credit cards and bank accounts. You're going to see a lot more credit card usage coming into the crypto space, which only helps people that are into NFTs because the easier it is for everybody to purchase them, the more it is going to be helpful for the prices to go up and for everybody to get involved that doesn't want to deal with cryptos or learning how to do the wallets and all that. So it's expected to launch sometime in May. So I'm excited to check this out. I will put details in the description so you can link right to this article and check those out. I get people asking me, you know, what are you looking at? That's, you know, what's the exciting stuff in the space? And there's so much exciting, it changes every day. But right now, Azuki and Mutant Ape Yacht Club are taking off like crazy. I mean, this is being recorded a little bit before you're going to see this, you know, maybe day, day and a half before. But right now, Mutant Apes are over 26 and the Azukis are over 28. So they, a few days ago, they surpassed Mutant Apes. But Mutant Apes seem to be wanting to catch up because they've been selling like crazy. You got, you know, the low is 26.24, which is like 90,000 US dollars. And then you've got the Azukis that's even more than that. You know, they're looking at 95, 96,000 is the floor on those. So they've really taken off. But I mean, you've got land coming for Mutant Apes. You've got the, uh, you know toys that might be coming out they just people are still getting the coin the ape coin so i mean there's a lot of benefits in the future you've got uh, the uh, and uh, the uh, nft nyc coming which is going to have you know the mutants and the uh, board apes are going to be getting together they're going to have their parties there and everything so a lot of exciting stuff coming but just definitely keep watching mutant apes and azukis because they just seem to keep taking off and they are two very exciting um you know projects that just are just rocketing so it's very interesting to watch so definitely check out the nukes nft they're very cool look in the lime wire it's gonna be exciting coming out new marketplace mutant apes and azukis i'm nft parent on all social media nft parent.io is my site and nft parent one on tiktok so definitely check that out still trying to get used to that and do some new things on that so check that out but follow me reach out on twitter let me know what you want to see what you're watching what you're excited about and i appreciate you watching have a great day thank you bye